हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आवर टूडेज टीचिंग टॉपिक इज पोएम फर्स्ट फ्रॉम हॉर्नविल दिस पोएम नेम इज अ फोटोग्राफ अ फोटोग्राफ पोएम इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पोएम बिकॉज इसेंस ऑफ दिस पोएम इज गिवेन हाउ अ पर्सन रिकॉल हिज आर हर पेरेंट्स पोइट्स पोइट्स रिकॉल हर पेरेंट्स पोइट्स रिकॉल हर मदर ड्यू टू द हेल्प ऑफ कार्डबोर्ड गिवेन हेयर टू स्टेंजा वी हैव टू एस्ट फर्स्ट एक्सप्लेन लाइन वाइज स्टेंजा द फर्स्ट लाइन इज गिवेन द कार्डबोर्ड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कार्डबोर्ड द मीनिंग ऑफ कार्डबोर्ड इज वेरी स्टिफ पेपर बोर्ड वेरी स्टिफ पेपर बोर्ड सोज मी हाउ इट वॉज इट वर्ड इज रिलेटिंग टू कार्डबोर्ड it word is stand for cardboard and the cardboard is a photo pasted on cardboard and me word is stand for poet's mother the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling paddling means walking through shallow water if you start to walk a uh, walk on bare foot on the shallow water it does then the feeling is very good the feeling is very inspiration the feeling is related to relaxation poet's mother recall her childhood in childhood when they go to near the beach of ocean at that time there is their situation and atmosphere is very relaxable is very enjoyable how they spent their childhood this one indicate here the first lines the cardboard shows me how it was cardboard indicate which type of her life at that time those time her life those time it means to say that her childhood time her childhood was very enjoyable enjoyable was very pleasurable and this pleasurable time indicate a lot of relaxation cardboard indicates a great time whatever happened in childhood when the two girl cousins went paddling who is two girl here the two girl is cousins poet's mother's cousins uh, first name is betty and second name is dolly who is stand beside her one side and other side and in between of her in between of them stand a big girl and the big girl is poet's mother who is belong to near about 12 years each one holding one of my mother's hands my word is standing for poetess poetess of this poem each one holding it means one of them each and every hold her mother's hand and see the big girl some 12 years also the big girl is a stand for the big girl is a stand for poetess mother big girl is stand in between of one place and inside of this place betty inside of this place dolly two cousins and the big girl it means poetess mother is near about 12 years or so near about 12 years 12 years exactly the four lines indicate her childhood enjoyable moment the cardboard indicates and the cardboard refers or you can say that the cardboard is stand for enjoyable because this cardboard a photograph a clicked photograph where in which this photograph has three persons has three your child big girl and her two cousins poetess mother and her two cousins and this cardboard photo indicate her situations enjoyable situations and in this photo indicate one thing that is relating to each of them each of her holding her holding poetess mother's hand and 
near about 12 years you know that students if poet's mother 12 years photograph pasted on cardboard uh, through the wall it means to say that this uh, cardboard is very old this cardboard is very ancient and how he protect this cardboard till to this date this mean to say that poetess loves her mother very much poetess loves her every memories that is relating to his please remember enjoy remember over joy joy this four stanza in the first stanza it Okay, at last we will discuss poetic device at first read second stanza in second stanza all three stood still to smile through their hair three girl stand moving here and there walking shore of ocean beach of ocean and three are laugh and three are get enjoy uh, here her own their own child their hair was flying over their faces their hair was oh, flying over their faces due to hair due to air at the uncle listen again at the uncle with the camera a sweet face at that time the second stanza second line indicate at that time at that moment their uncle is stand there to ready click a photo and their face is very sweet a sweet face big girl is big girl face is sweet poetess mother mother's face is sweet sweet in childhood in children age every every students every girl or every boy has a sweet face and after some time in further future their faces grow old, grow old time to time circumstances and situations and conditions occur on their face at that time their face is not too good in comparison of before ages or childhood ages my mothers my mothers means poetess mothers that was before i was born you know that this click this clicked photo is is the time of 12 years when the time when she is 12 years poetess mothers 12 years it means at that time i was born i word is is stand for poetess i was born it means at that time poetess unable to take birth how possible it is poetess mother 12 years she is not take birth on this earth this photograph and this photo is very old and the sea which appears to have changed less and the sea sea ocean rivers appearances present uh, presented in our presence are less changed the sea is just like that at that time and just like this time no change are very less changed it means the life of human being is changeable but the nature is not changeable sometimes nature is also changed but the main uh, the main reason and the main form of the reason is like a like is the same was there terribly transient feet terribly means so extremely transient means temporary it means not permanent was there was there food was there feet extremely transient feet the ocean's water was their feet the scene and situation was transient the life is was transient the life is not permanent the scene and situation of childhood is not permanent and it is enough to leave that time it means to say that dear students that situation that time is very really enjoyable when the water of the ocean come and touch their feet and they feel very relaxable very pleasurable very good this one here meaning of it uh, listen and uh, 
listen and uh, watch the first line what is the poetic device if you unable to understand this poetic device you have to write uh, definitely i hope this type of poetic device is relating to 10th class syllabus and uh, definitely you will read in 10th uh, class if you unable to know i write this uh, poetic device inside mint what is the enjambment the enjambment poetic device is when you when you not write when a poem's line not write a single punctuation a single commas just listen how it watch when the two girl there is not given any comma any punctuation any grammatical mark and this line this line is connecting this line without any pass just listen second and third line in second line given a mark it means this line is different from this line this line is different from this line this line is not like this line this line is not same line but this line is same line because not there a comma or punctuation this is why this type of poetic device is called enjambment this one enjambment poetic device here this is very important in the view of the board examination this type of poetic device has occurred in board examination through this uh, this type of lines of poem and the second third line the word is my mother's a word and a word especially consonant letter are sound will repeat and alliteration is the repetition of the letter or sound is called alliteration my mother m m m word is repeat here when alliteration is the repetition of con consonant words consonants letter or sound this one alliteration poetic device this one also here through there it means t word and t word t word is alliteration sound you know that also repeat poetic us in jang there here at the uncle not given any punctuation not given any per comma not given any pass words or full stop or grammatical marks here it means this word is enjambment this words relating in poetic device enjambment and the last poetic device device is that terribly transient epithet this poetic device is used here epithet what is epithet epithet is a adjective epithet is a phrase when a word indicate other word to increase uh, to add some other words at that time called epithet terribly transient na this one adjective from this words also feet this is why this epithet dear students if you are able to poetic device you have to read some poetic some important poetic devices so that you able to know what's the poetic device which type of poetic device used here this one two stanza completed this one first part of first poem the second part is will become after some day thank you so much